Welcome to the Sustainable CT Actions and Impact Review for January 2023. Brought to you in part by our good friends at the Hampshire Foundation. Remember, the Hampshire Foundation funds partners who are finding pathways to rapidly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It helps people build resilience against poverty and climate change. And that's a very good thing. Join our team. That's right. It's a new year chock-a-block full of new opportunities because we're hiring for multiple positions. We're seeking candidates for program assistant for our 2023 cohort of Sustainable CT Fellows and multiple equity coaching positions. Visit our employment page for complete job listings and information. Come join us in taking local actions that have a statewide impact. This is cool and very informative. The New York Times has a map with which you can view your town's carbon footprint. As the great lady puts it, your household's contributions to climate change is linked to where you live, down to the specific block. A subscription is required, but hey, you've been meaning to do that anyway, right? For hiring news, the EPA is hiring soon-to-be and recent graduates in science and engineering fields. Positions available involve implementing Inflation Reduction Act programs to tackle the climate crisis, reduce air pollution, and advance environmental justice. Contact Amy Bassania with questions or join the Teams meeting on January 12th, 1 to 2 p.m. For your edification, your enlightenment, and your entertainment, too. It's The Impact, a sustainable CT podcast. This month, we'll talk with former Sustainable CT fellows who attended the COP27 climate conference in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, last year. These young people have a unique and refreshing perspective that you do not want to miss. The Impact is available January 15th at SustainableCT.org and wherever you get your podcasts. The Connecticut Main Street Center is holding a webinar on reimagining communal spaces. Join Celeste Fry, co-founder and CEO of Public Works Partners, for insights on maximizing the impact of communal spaces to meet the needs of the entire community. January 19th, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Reducing energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions is a challenging venture with many variables. Yes, it is. Join this webinar to learn about an Eversource program that supports municipalities in developing a holistic approach to managing energy and emissions over the long term. January 25, 12 to 1. You know, Sustainable CT and Actions and Impact, this very newsletter, and me, speaking to you right now. It's all made possible in part by the Common Sense Fund. That's right, the Common Sense Fund promotes action both on the environment and in the arts that is practical, creative, and addresses social needs. And we are oh so glad they do. Remember, Sustainable CT is independently funded. We don't receive money from government or from a university, not even from a magical unicorn rainbow money tree, no sir. So if you want to know how you can make great things happen by becoming a Sustainable CT champion, drop us a line, won't you? at support us at sustainablect.org. You'll be glad you did. The first workshop in our winter 2023 virtual equity training series begins January 31st. It's Equity 101, a workshop that provides an understanding for how racial equity increases the prosperity, health, and safety of the entire community. This free, free is good, this free three-part virtual equity workshop provides a comprehensive framework of racial equity, diversity, and inclusion, R-E-D-I. Attendance at all three sessions is required. Sessions run from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on January 31st, February 22nd, and March 14th. Space is limited, so register today. Over in the Community Match Fund corner, Ronnie Newton at weha.com, that's right, writes about the West Hartford Tree Project. They're raising funds with Sustainable CT's help to protect and preserve the West Hartford Tree Canopy. Throw some shade, yeah, and check it out. And if you have an idea to make your community more sustainable, equitable, and vibrant, well, you want to contact our community outreach manager, the electrifying Joseph Dickerson, at funding at sustainablect.org. And don't forget to register for this month's Community Match Fund office hours on January 18th from 12 to 1. Sign up where else? At sustainablect.org. Governor Lamont announced that the Connecticut Department of Housing is releasing $13.4 million in grants to seven municipalities for infrastructure upgrades that will modernize and rehabilitate housing for low- and moderate-income individuals. Go, Ned! GoodMorningWilton.com asks the question, Is Wilton's sustainable CT silver certification getting enough attention? Heck no, we say, but you might want to check out what the good people in Wilton have to say about that. And don't forget to join us for the next Sustainable CT Coffee Hour, January 20th at 10 a.m. We'll exchange ideas on effective use of the Mini Liquor Bottle Fund. 
We'll have an overview of the law and the funds that have flowed to towns in 2022. Examples shared by communities that have used the funds to impact waste reduction. And as always, a lively conversation. Oh yeah. January 20, 10 a.m. Remember, you can join Sustainable CT for informal discussions most third Fridays of each month at 10 a.m. We share program updates and resources, explore your questions, and strengthen the network of Sustainable CT champions. These sessions are always free, and you know that free is good and open to all. You're not, it's 2023. So there's a little trepidation heading into the new year, yeah? Because so many of 2022's thornier issues seem unresolved. Inflation is still too high, COVID remains a stubborn threat, Russia and Ukraine are no closer to the negotiating table. COP27 was only a partial victory at best, and we're counting the days before another presidential race begins. And if that doesn't cause a shiver up the spine, nothing will. But we take heart. The level of commitment we've seen from hundreds, thousands of good people doing good things around our state this past year will surely carry us, as if on broad shoulders, into 2023. It brings us good cheer and great hope to know that whatever challenges we face, or face again, we will face them together. Happy New Year, everyone. And you can read all about it in this month's exciting edition of Actions and Impact, the official Sustainable CT newsletter. Accept no substitutes. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. And you can do that where the new year just sparkles with possibility at sustainablect.org.